You wonder, of course, about this kind of a visit. I know that many of the people were very kind. They said, thank you for coming. You've made us feel better. I want you to know that you've made me feel better. I've never been so proud of America and of the American people as I am today. You're great people. We appreciate what you've done for the spirit of Wilkes-Barre, the spirit of this country. President Nixon says this is the worst natural disaster in the history of the United States. I imagine this is probably opening the 6.30 news that night. And that's something that I also realized most people probably didn't see if you were in the flood because watching the news that night was probably the last thing on your mind when you're, when you're bailing out of town. And so I worked with the archives at NBC, CBS, uh, and NBC News, and we got it all. So that was the idea, to pull it all together, to get the best pictures from the four books, to get the best video that we could from all of the local TV stations, to get the network coverage from CBS, NBC, and ABC, and really make a definitive documentary on the Agnes Flood of, of 1972. And also, of course, contributions from people, because once we, we put a Facebook page up, people start telling us, well, I've got some eight millimeter footage. And I took some great photographs. Or, and so people start sending us things. And so it's a combination of really all the resources that we could find um, on Agnes to make what we think will be the definitive documentary. And you know, once we start working on it, it all starts coming together. These films were taken from the courthouse just after the river broke over the dikes. You'll see the North Street Bridge to the left. There is just a little bit of it out of water at this time. The roadway is still above water, but it won't be for long, and then it will be gone forever. These pictures taken from Sunbury North were taken by Channel 16 cameramen as they covered the flood from Sunbury North through the towns of Bloomsburg and Berwick and Shikshini, upriver toward Wilkes-Barre. The scene was the same all along the Susquehanna. This is a completely non-profit film. None of us are looking to make uh, any, any profit from it. What you need money for sometimes is for some editing, and there's a lot of hours involved, and some licensing. You know, we want this to be a timepiece, so we're looking to include some of that national news footage. Uh, some music from the era that you know, in documentaries always seem to, you know, kind of take people there, you know, and, and set the scene a little bit and the setting. And so there's going to be some some funding that's going to be needed, but uh, it's a completely nonprofit project. There were plants and birds and rocks and things. There was sand and hills and rain. The first thing I met was a fly with a ball. We're going to be starting a GoFundMe campaign uh, shortly in which you can make a donation. We've got 18,000 people following us on Facebook. If everybody gave us a buck or two, we'll be fine. And we'll be able to make this movie and have it done in time for the 50th anniversary two years from now. Our goal, as I said earlier, is to make the definitive documentary. We want to honor our grandparents and our parents who, who got it done, who, who you know, rolled up their sleeves and didn't feel sorry for themselves and put this community back together. We want to honor them. We want the younger generation to see these images. We'd rather use the footage that we have and the pictures that we have to tell the story rather than have a lot of folks sitting around reflecting on it. What happened Friday morning? Well, sirens came, uh, police came around with sirens and loudspeakers and told us to evacuate, that the water was coming up to the top of the dike, so we had to move out. And uh, we took the children. We got out of there about 6 o'clock in the morning. And uh, we headed for higher ground. That's the only thing we could do. Are you staying in a, in a, in a center for people who uh, were chased out by the water? Or have you been staying in a vacant uh, apartment building up in Ashley? How many children do you have, Mr. Mack? Four. Were you able to save any of your possessions before you left? And you didn't save anything. If someone wants to get involved uh, and support the film, the easiest thing to do is go to our GoFundMe page, which we will be posting on our Facebook page, a link to it frequently over the next year or so. All you need to do is go to Facebook, Agnes Flood Documentary Project. You'll see pictures there, you'll see our film trailer there, you'll see things that people have submitted to us for the film, and you'll also see a way to make a donation.